I am here to embarrass myself selling myself I want money like literally going to people I want money I want to join this and this is what I'm going to do for you the moment if you give me your money I mean you really don't need a school or a certificate to know how to do your first deal a person driving an Uber in India is taken you know ha, not it's very low like, yeah thinking, exactly you know there's a status thing yeah but the same thing is considered here as a hustle just remember one thing you cannot be a hero in somebody else's life yeah. they are the hero you can just be a guide If you're a salesperson or a business owner, a small business owner, that you know, how many times have you heard that branding is important to, you know, generate more revenue for your business? A year ago, I didn't know what actually branding means or, you know, how deep it can impact on the business that I'm generating. Again, that's when I met uh, this man who is behind my branding. You know, in this video. I'm 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 going to interview him just you know get his story and you know his side of uh, things like why marketing is really crucial for any sales person out there or any small business owner or big business owner right and what kind of things that you need to be aware and learn from him okay are you ready let's do it namaskar welcome back to my channel this is aditya soma i'm a lead sales representative with winsy real estate team and exp reality here in winsy sex so i'm not going to talk about sales in specific <laughs> real estate but today you know like i mentioned i have uh, you know my good friend and also the man behind my branding what i'm excited is especially if you're a sales person you make sure you avoid all the distraction for next 10 minutes and and listen up this because you know this is something that changed my way of business and you know where i went from like you know literally doubling my revenue in like 8 to 12 months so without any ado sahas Thank you so much man for your time. Thank you so much to you for so, doing this and uh, man like it feels a little weird coming in front of the camera because <laughs> I've been the one behind all the time because I've been telling uh Anita let's do this let's do it that and <laughs> yeah. now like when I'm in the front like oh shit it's <laughs> now I have to be but yeah it's always a pleasure you know working with you and uh, talking about real estate stuff so yeah. Yeah no thank you man because you know I I I can see how my content you know the way i posted on social media and you know the type of editings the type of um show, showing up myself has completely changed right like now people know me with a specific type yeah. now people know me with a specific branding uh, and and the message is constant yeah. right like there are so many things um so for that like first of all thankful you know guys if you're been enjoying the content for last few months so thanks for you and your team on keeping that But you know I I'm not going to bore you guys with my things. So first of all like who are you? How did you land up in this marketing? Man it's the most difficult question and I'll try <laughs> to simplify it because uh, just like you I'm also an immigrant. Mm -hmm. I came to Canada with my wife on uh, PR yeah. and we landed in 2019. So very recent. Very recent and then uh, you know I hustled here and there, started driving Uber, did a lot of stuff. Yeah. But in between I also joined college dropped yeah. out right after one day <laughs> went to a real estate event yeah that's where i met you <laughs> yes the, then i raised $20000 standing in the middle of the bus from strangers i was not there <laughs> <laughs> then you were not there and then i started my uh, six figures uh, branding company yeah so the, again there is lot to unpack uh, so first of all like congratulations on you know coming on pr because many people like me who come as a student they have to pay for you know the education and now have to work hard to pay off that debt um so kudos to you on that um no, so thanks to my wife she she i was the secondary applicant oh, she was so the you're primary the sponsor. yeah i was the sponsored guy <laughs> so if you're an immigrant you know that's another idea like if whoever yeah. has a good english knowledge yeah yeah it's only like two and a half years right like and uh, it's 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 a crazy shift like from where you came from and you know what you're doing now yeah. So did you already came to Canada having in mind that you want to do marketing or like I'll say that you know I mean it in my mind so like uh, my background has always been an entrepreneur I've always okay. been an entrepreneur all my life uh, though my profession my education has been into computer engineering mm -hmm. but then uh, you know how engineers are <laughs> and uh, like everybody like I belong to that kind of a typical family like if you have a girl child then she's a doctor if you are a, if you are a Guy. boy then you become an engineer and i'm i'm a product of same kind of story 
but obviously like my background my my family has always been into business mm-hmm. and i was also like very much interested into doing something of my own mm-hmm. but for a very long time i even i didn't have any direction like whatever i was doing even mm-hmm. though i was working for myself uh, even when i was back in india but i was doing it for the sake of doing it and okay. there was no real direction of where do i really want to go until i realized that you know it's high time that i have to make something out of my life mm-hmm. and have to take some serious step ups to get there and that's when canada came into the picture so like what made you to like you know is there any instant that changed your way of thinking like you know instead of like just for survival mm. i want to do this like really well yeah like uh, like there was a moment in my life when i was in uh, india and i was supposed to go to dubai mm-hmm. and uh, that was because uh, some opportunity came in and i thought that okay so this could be a big opportunity mm-hmm. and you know there is always a fascination that you know if when you go out of country you are anyway you are going to be well off big well off right <laughs> but uh, fortunately or unfortunately that didn't work out because the day when i had my next flight mm-hmm. for dubai my pack my things were packed my the apartment that i was renting mm-hmm. i had given that away sold off my business everything mm-hmm. i get an email that uh, a, we i'm sorry we cannot get you Whoa. to dubai <laughs> and that's really shattered my life at that point of time because i've just yeah, cuz you're ready you paid for the flight and everything, everything. like you you already like bags. all the pickles are packed in the bag yeah, yeah, everything <laughs> so it was very like you know very difficult situation for me to handle but that time i realized that you know i mean uh, i had to do something on my own not mm-hmm. depend on somebody else so at the same time i mean we started working my wife my wife at that time she was my fiance mm-hmm. so we started uh, putting our documentations in check for uh, for the pr mm-hmm. uh, preparing for ielts and everything but at the same time i started uh, consulting for marketing agencies oh okay so lucky for me my friend actually needed one of the services in consulting and that is where i helped him with the content management part and everything and that's how my survival to some extent started happening you know because i got a lot of hands on experience about the marketing world uh, and uh, how it happened because you know, you know when you come working in a marketing agency it's not that you are just given one project you're given 15 projects wow at once at once so <laughs> when you and especially when you're into content i literally had to manage 15 different accounts on my yeah. own Bec- so it was just like being a content head and a content assistant <laughs> also <laughs> <laughs> all in one all in one so i think that changed the whole ball game for me because i realized that how much i enjoy doing mm-hmm. this work and how much pressure that i can take into this Handled, field yeah, mm-hmm. yeah that's a, that's another important element like many people miss like especially like if you have if you have passion for something you, you don't know whether to go for like doing a business but you know working for someone in the same field that you want to learn yeah. like doing it in 1 2 3 years like that experience helps you now like you know you learn everything possible yeah. and go implement in the real world Yeah I mean a lot of times a lot of people think that you know you need to get a certification or a course or anything yeah. I mean this is where I am you are here like yeah. we literally started from YouTube yeah. we literally watched channels like a lot of people who are watching this learn from Aditya I mean you really don't need a school or a certificate to know how to do your first deal yeah. you're getting to know first hand from the guy itself and there are so many millions of creators who are you know putting in an effort in helping people to you know gain some kind of a skill set So yeah. similarly I also did the same thing. That's fantastic. And and like you know now coming to you know the marketing right like you know you you picked a niche of realtors. Hmm. So why realtors? Man I I'll have to give it to you also for this and a lot of other real estate content creators that uh, I mean like I said YouTube mm-hmm. has been a great uh, resource for me to learn about this country and this is what mm-hmm. I realized that uh the reason why i wanted to come to toronto is because obviously it is a financial capital yep. and i was looking for those opportunities where i can you know uh learn about or get into skill set or something of that sort and there i realized that real estate is something that really fascinated me and this mm. helped you to get that kind of freedom that you're looking for yeah so given my background into marketing so uh, like i realized that you know I cannot be a full time realtor because that is not something that I'm really really passionate about to yeah. be honest I mean my that's a different beast you you have to be a sales person Yeah and for me like uh, I wanted to get an exposure first hand so that's why I told 
that you know first of all i have to quit the job quit the uh, college that i was yeah. enrolled mm-hmm. into mm-hmm. after going one day i dropped out went to a real estate boot camp yeah. attended that and realized you know it was a light bulb moment yeah. that you know i think uh, that made me realize that you know if you have to achieve your financial freedoms freedom then you have to think how you can solve a problem for somebody else yeah. instead of thinking that you know uh, i should learn that skill set from starting from you, you, you know scratch see what you have already Or, yeah and how you can uh, connect with somebody who's su- who's struggling with that and give that a solution man i would stop you there like that that's something really crucial like i have been seeing from many people who succeeded like who are doing well is like they found within them like you know many people ask me like oh can i become a realtor how do i know I, what do you have the people skills right like you know you you knew yourself you're good with marketing you you, you knew yourself facebook or instagram you know doing this managing the accounts and doing different content you're good with yourself like you knew yourself and you find like okay how can i utilize my skills yeah. and solve other people's problems yeah. i think what really changed the whole game for me is also when i started working for a car dealership Mm. I worked as a salesman. So okay, so you did the sales. I did the sales for okay. a whole year because for me Aditya it was like I want to compress time yeah. instead of going to college. Mm-hmm. I thought like, let me get a real life uh, scenario ah, and exposure. Okay. So I got so after you dropped out you went to uh, car dealership. Car dealership and started you know s- sales. How did you do for the sales? So yeah, so like when I started into sales with them, I after some time I started for free and asking that you, do you need help with marketing? Actually, you know what this is this is wrong mm. with you. And don't worry about it, let me take care of that. And you didn't ask for any money. No, nothing. Nothing. Man, that that's insane like you know, that's that's exactly what I feel like most of us has to do. Like you know, you you offer your services yeah. like when people see that you're doing exceptionally yeah. well, they are medically willing to oh, pay yeah. you money 100%. and then they eventually like you, you you will be able to make better living off of that yeah and i think it's more about relationship and building that trust yeah. right like everybody wants to skip to the skip the ladder and go to the highest point and that's where a lot of pain is but that's what i think uh, really helped me to you know master one skill and mm. learn about the other skill also mm. and they also realize and slowly and gradually when i didn't ask for money they realized this with this guy is really, really putting a lot of effort and then he called me the manager called me sasa i really want to pay you for this and that time uh, you know i said okay so this is what i can offer Do you, for you. Mm-hmm. and then i started marketing in sales so i was getting dual income working into sales when it is com- when it could have been completely commissions wow so yeah that's insane story i i, I really love that you know that this is something you guys can take home especially if you're struggling to find what you want to do in life like struggling to figure out income sources so what happened next then when did you start the company so at the same time when i was doing this i saw that you know uh, like i told you that i raised money standing yeah, in the yeah. middle of the mm-hmm. bus so that was basically to join a mastermind uh, yeah. thing mm-hmm. and that changed the whole game for me in terms of um, building up my own business because that money that i raised standing in the middle of the bus right after the boot camp was over I was like, you know, right in the middle selling myself uh like I want money. Like literally mm-hmm. going to people, I want money, I want to join this and this is what I'm going to do for you the moment if you give me your money. And so what what did you offer them to give you money? Man, like to be really honest, it was such an so much in a moment that I don't even remember <laughs> because for me the goal was to hit that target of 20000 yeah. dollars mm-hmm. mm-hmm. i didn't care what i was doing begging crying whatever <laughs> i would do anything i was like i am ready oh. to make a fool of myself <laughs> i am here to embarrass myself and that is one of the main reasons when i asked uh, some people like why did you even give me money yeah like why did you make why did you trust me yeah. he said you don't you, even know me i you didn't even know me and this was my question and uh, the guy the first guy said he said that uh, you were ready to embarrass yourself so i realized that you know i have to put myself into that position that uncomfortable position when my back is against the wall the only place for me to go is move forward yeah and that time i realized like if i have to put myself into a good debt so that i am i learn from it and struggle for it and hustle to get that money and give that people their money, money back yeah. So did you give them back? Oh yeah, I gave them in six months. <laughs> okay, that's so, yeah, like within because I asked for six months, and uh, within five months I was able mm-hmm. to pay back everyone. But at the same time, I I was able to start my real estate marketing business. Got it. Now, like 
for for realtors right like why the marketing is something that crucial mm. you know for because you know I, I can see myself what differences made in my business but someone like you know who is just started a business uh, what would what do you tell them you know see i'll say that you know what um uh, as we already know that there are more more than 65000 yeah 70000 real estate agents only in toronto gta and there are around 70000 and there are around 1.7 million real estate agents in north america in this region itself now the challenge is how do you stand out a lot of people are doing the same things what other people are doing and you, they're not able to showcase their own personality like aditya what is special about you is not how good you are in your negotiations or your sales how people like you trust you and yeah. connect with you very true very true right from the day one video that you create like your small gestures like even saying greetings namaskar yeah. Yeah. this is humbling the way that you connect the way that you vibe with people and the kind of videos that you create i think aditya you aditya is, is a great example because uh, i think he said that a lot of people started acknowledging his uh, marketing message but the point was it just helped it amplify his message yeah yeah again you know that that's the thing right like the the whole marketing like sounds super big but like if we boil it down like it's literally like how can you make put yourself in front of you know as many people as possible and also like make sure people you know who can like you yeah. based on you, who you are yeah. and trust you because you know you're now constantly showing up right. constantly sharing knowledge now they start to trust you more because yeah. you're more often yeah. so the consistency the is consistency. what i have seen you know what helped me to you know continue to put more content and that is at the end of the day it's really about the value that you're providing and not just to your client like people who are your clients but also who could be your prospective clients yeah so value in terms of education in terms of so like for example a lot of people come to me and say that i can't be making dancing videos right it's not yeah. in my genre and i totally understand you don't have to do anything out of your out of your personality yeah what you are good at do that like if today aditya and i we are talking like this we could have been talking in a completely different fashion but that is not us yeah right this is us this is we being very honest and uh, like the real us if you are able to just get the three things emotion, emotion. logic and laughter or humor into a video or any kind of content that you create you have already hit 70% of the population makes sense that makes a lot of sense so you know again i, I we can dig more and more about talk more about the marketing but uh, um i would live this yeah a final words like for a brand new realtor who is looking to you know maybe uh, take get some help from you or like you know what kind of things they can expect and where can they find you see first of all i'll tell you you don't really really need my help you can do all by yourself so before even i get involved in like in terms of you know i want somebody to be my client i want to make sure that you know you need to be a little more comfortable creating your own content because that is a prerequisite because otherwise you know what will happen you will burn out makes sense if if you are able to create content for yourself to start out then you should consider you know hiring any marketing agency or something like that so for a very uh, good advice <laughs> yeah. because if you're not doing and you're spending money it's it's yeah, useless i mean i i will be of no value to you no marketing agency whoever comes in and says that you know what uh, hey xyz i can help you market and boost your business it is all flop nothing is going to work you are the product you are the service you are the person which people are going to trust not a real estate not any service it's you so if you're not willing to put the time first initially then there is no point contacting sahas yeah so <laughs> i'll tell i in fact give you four one way of how you can start creating your videos okay so the first step is talk about the problem okay so whatever okay. the problem is like if market uh, is so going to crash is market going to crash let me tell you about that so first talk about the problem second talk about the frustration what that problem is causing you like the market is going to crash and it is getting you sleepless nights that is the frustration it is causing you now talk about the solution general solution like how you can help or how solution that kind of a solution can help you resolve that problem third is the solution and the fourth one is transformation and transformation is if you want this kind of a help and get your life better or whatever like just have a philosophical transformation into it and then say that give the call to action 
so the first step is problems frustration then is the uh, solution and the last one is transformation if you have all these four elements into whatever video that you're creating you've nailed it love it actually without knowing i was kind of doing you are similar actually elements you, yes you are doing that but that's why i that's why it is important to give people a little bit of steps now you know a lot of people do it even they don't realize that they're doing yeah. it but now you know this is ah this is the formula 1 2 3 4 steps now you can start yeah, just like a movie own. most just of the movies are similar like absolutely. you know they start talking or oh, there is a love failure oh yes and then now they start to give some kind of okay what what, what happened to that love failure guy yeah. he's drinking he's like you know that, having the dog every day with I'm you i'm glad you brought this example because in the course that i created i have written about the movie example also which really? has seven critical points in any storytelling and <laughs> which is uh, on the basis of movie so there are seven beats like on originally mm -hmm. originally there are 15 different beats mm -hmm. in an any storyline yeah. which has compressed down to seven and which has compressed down to four which i just told no, you got it <laughs> that that's true man you you know look which movie makes you more interesting yeah. and why right like it starts with that problems and start to share how their life became worse yeah. and now start to give some solutions and now happy ending just remember one thing you cannot be a hero in somebody else's <laughs> life yeah. they are the hero you can just be a guide so try to portray yourself as a guide instead of you thinking that you have to drive in ferrari on somebody else's porch let them drive the porsche let them drive the ferrari you be the guide in helping them get that porsche they get yeah. their ferrari and then eventually you can buy the ferrari yeah, then eventually <laughs> you can buy the ferrari man awesome that this is a lot of uh, you know nuggets that for especially brand new agents or someone just getting started you know i i strongly believe um, in real estate world you you only have two works to do one is create your pipeline of leads other one is convert the leads and we what we talked is all this is creating that pipeline if you don't have this pipeline you don't have business you don't have you know convert them right like you so um so make sure focus on that and let us know in the comments below what you liked in in this video and and if you see if you would like to see more of this kind of content or maybe a different kind of content let me know in the comments and also make sure you know uh, follow sahas on instagram uh, i'll be i'll make sure in the description there is a uh, links for uh, for his channel so i see you put a lot of mm, tips and tricks or like different things for yeah, agents yeah i'm right? pretty active on instagram uh, you can follow me on sas chopra on instagram mm -hmm. youtube looking at him i've started <laughs> creating more videos now of myself also i'm interviewing uh, a lot of uh, real estate agents and like people who or business owners who have done like mm -hmm. amazingly great in fact that is next and uh, <laughs> so yeah, again you know check out those right like you know make sure be in that loop uh, get that motivation every day and don't let that mo motivation die if you now you know you got something you got a inspiration go do something about it because once you take the first step now you invested yourself and you'll take the next step so with that thank you so much make sure to hit that thumbs up button because that would help us to reach this video for more other agents who can success get some motivation and helpful information from this video so until then check out the other videos and see you later <laughs>